Hello everyone. Today we'll start we'll start a new unit that is current electricity, and we'll start with drift velocity. First, we'll do the derivation for it. It is the average velocity attained by charged particles. such as electrons in a material due to an electric field. Now we will do the derivation for drift velocity. So we will consider a conductor of length L. Conductor of length L. A is the area of cross section of the conductor. And N be the number of electrons per unit volume. So we can write N as number of electrons upon volume that is N is the number of electrons upon volume is area into length small n. So n is equals to n a l number of electrons is equals to n a l so the conductor of length l and cross section area a so now we'll assume so now we'll assume u1, u2 up till un be the thermal velocity of the electrons. The electrons. As there is no current, so u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus plus un upon n is equal to 0. Now we'll apply a potential V because of which an electric field is set up. Apply a potential V due to which electric field is set up. So, <clears throat> the conductor of length L, the potential V here and the electric field in this direction. Now we know every electron will, for will experience a force that will be equal to F is equals to minus EE because of which there will be acceleration which will be equal to minus EE upon M. That is acceleration 
due to force. Now we now we learn a new thing from here that is the electrons will be accelerated for a very short period of time. That time is known as what we call relaxation time. That is denoted by tau. So a small definition for relaxation time is also it is also the time between two successive collision. Collision. So now as we know V is equals to U plus A T. So we can write V1 is equals to U1 plus A tau 1. V2 is equals to U2 plus A T2. Vn is equals to Un plus A T3. So the average velocity that is the drift velocity is equals to Vn plus V2 plus dot 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 plus Vn upon n which is u1 plus at at1 plus u2 plus at2 plus un plus atn upon capital n the number of electrons So Vd can be written as u1 plus u2 plus u3 dot 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 un upon n plus we take a common and then write the time upon n. As we know there is no current so this part becomes 0. So Vd is equals to 0 plus a tau we can write it as tau this is the av average of this so v d is equals to a tau and finally we can write the drift velocity as minus e e tau by This is the expression for drift velocity. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.